Welcome to another GeoGebra tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to reinforce the slider tutorial that we have um, learned last week. In this tutorial, we're going to use not only the number slider, but we're also going to use the, the angle slider. We will create a um, rhombus that depends on two sliders. So the first one determines the length of the sides, while the second one determines one angle or one interior angle measure. So let's start. First, we create a number slider. So, okay, so th th these are the different types of sliders. We have number, we have angle, and we have integer. So we choose number and we choose, okay, let, leave, let's leave uh, A as uh, the slider's name. And then choose the minimum value as zero. Then click apply. So as we can see, this is our slider with a minimum value of 0 and a maximum value of 5. Next, we create a number slider. Oh, no, an angle slider, I mean. So we choose angle, and then we choose the maximum to be 180 degrees. And then click the Apply button. OK, so this is. This is the angle slider. Next, we create a point, which is our, which will be the one of the vertices of the rhombus. Next, we create a segment with length A. So how do we do this? Select segment with fixed length, and then choose A. It's length. So whatever the value, whatever the value of a here, will be the length of the segment containing a. Okay. So as you can see, the length of segment ab is a, which is equal to five. So if I move a, if I move a to zero, so I'll, I only have a point. Third, we select. The, or we create an angle which is equal to the value of alpha. So how do we do this? We select the angle with given size. Angle with given size and then select B, A. Okay, so we just leave it counterclockwise and then change 45 degrees to alpha. So you can uh, Create, or you can see, you can find find the Greek letters here. Okay, so whatever the value of uh, alpha will be the measure of the angle here. So, okay. So we hide this angle and then construct AB. So we use this uh, segment between two points and then click A and then click B prime. Next, so this is, these are the sides. These are the two sides of the rhombus. To create the third side, construct a line which is parallel to AB and passing through AB prime. Also, construct a line parallel to AB prime and passing through B. Okay. So as you can probably guess, this one is the third point or the fourth point or the fourth vertex of the rhombus. Okay. So the, the last thing that we will do is to hide to hide the lines and use the segment between two points tool to complete the rhombus. Well of course we can rename we can rename the points if you want. So we want the last or the B prime. We want B prime to be D. So just right click, and then rename, and then 
replace b prime with t. Okay, so we have a rhombus. That's all for now. See you in the next tutorial.